This is Buddy Buchanan with the Leader and Times bringing some high plains highlights. Monday, July 17th, 2017. The Liberal BJs took to the diamond at Brent Gould Field Saturday night against the Hayes to begin a three game series that would decide the Jayhawk League champion. Due to rain on Friday, a doubleheader was rescheduled for Saturday, and in a pair of seven inning games, Liberal split with Hayes to set the table for Monday night's matchup in which the winner will bring home the conference title. Liberal fell to Hayes 8-3 in Game 1, but bounced back to win 2-1 in Game 2. The 6 feet 4 inch Sam Beatty took the hill for Liberal in Game 1. Hayes got on the board in the first inning off a broken bat single by Colin Simpson that set up a 2-out RBI triple by Hayes center fielder Trevor Boone that dinged off the right center wall and put Hayes up 1-0. In the third, Hayes' Jacob Boston reached on a single to center, but a short hop in center led to an error moving Boston to second base. Boston came home off a Kayon Givens RBI single, and it was 2-0 Hayes going into the bottom of half of the third. A Clayton Raspberry solo shot put Hayes up 3-0 in the fourth. Liberal would not get on the board until the fifth when they exploded for three runs. Trent Maloney led off, followed by Kyle Schmidt, with both hitting line shots up the middle to put runners at first and second. Zach Cook then laid down a bunt that baffled Hayes. The ball slowly rolled down the third base line, and while Hayes decided to let it roll thinking it would go foul, Cook reached and Maloney scored from second to get Liberal on the board. A sacrifice bunt then put Schmidt and Cook in scoring position. Marcus Schumacher tied things up, sliding into second for a two-out RBI down the left field line. A key moment in the game would follow off a Shoemaker steal attempt at third base. The throw to third was on time, but while the Hayes third baseman appeared to miss on the tag, an out was called, leaving the bases empty with two outs rather than a runner on third with one down. The inning would end with the score tied 3-3. Three three. There it would remain until it went to extra innings, and in the top of the eighth, Hayes would put it away with a five-run rally for the go-ahead 8-3 victory. Game 2 was a pitcher's duel that pitted Liberal's Zach Zeller against Hayes' Alex Lopez. Zeller went the distance in the pivotal matchup. Both teams were shut out by the hurlers going into the bottom of the fifth. Nate Crossan broke through for the BJs with a shot down the first base line that ricocheted off the Hayes first baseman's glove for a one-out single. Crossman moved into scoring position by stealing second that set up a Shoemaker RBI single to center field. Shoemaker advanced to second on the throw home and Liberal's up 1-0 with a runner in scoring position. Garrett Scott was able to reach on a tough ground ball that Lopez wasn't able to handle, covering first. The botch channeling at first opened the door for Shoemaker to advance home. Shoemaker slid by the tag by a thread to put Liberal up 2-0, and there it stayed going into the seventh and final inning. Zeller started the seventh, forcing a ground out to first before a four-pitch walk and a single to right put Hayes runners at first and third with one out. A meeting at the mound ensued, and it looked as though head coach Daniel Parker had made the move to bring in Chance Carner. Parker decided to let Zeller remain, and Carner made his way back to the pen as Zeller remained on the hill. A ball in the dirt allowed Hayes to score a run and advance the runner to second with one out. With a runner in scoring position, Zeller collected and dealt back-to-back lineouts to the outfield, leaving the tying run at second to go to the distance for a 2-1 BJ victory. The win makes Monday night's matchup the deciding factor in the Jayhawk League and is also the final game on Liberal's docket for the regular season with Oklahoma City forfeiting the final three games. A high seed in the NBC World Series Championship week bracket lies in the balance as Liberal will take on Hayes at Brent Gold Field tonight at 6 p.m. This is Buddy Buchanan at the Leader in Times with your High Plains highlights. God bless and thanks for watching.